Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Ujwal, one of the brand ambassadors for Dress My Craft. And today I'm sharing a dimensional envelope uh, complete with a little box so you can um, add little um, trinkets or chocolates or even um, gift cash inside. I think it's a really unique concept and I hope you will love it. So let's get started and for today's uh, project I will be using this beautiful paper pack called Love Blooms. Um, it's a really gorgeous paper pack with uh, foiled papers so there is a lot of foiling inside on the papers and you can see some uh, there was a page with uh, red foiling and then there is this one with gold, fo gold foiling and this is the one that I will be using for today's project. And it's a really gorgeous uh, paper pack. And then I'll also be using the Dress My Craft uh, scoring board, which comes uh, with this envelope guide. And it has all the instructions on there. So you can check it out, uh, check out all the details that are given on the board itself. So it's easy for you to figure out the size and the paper size and everything. So for today, I'm going with the largest one. And uh, it will require 12 inches by 12 inches uh, sheet of paper. So uh, I'm going to just trim off this top excess part uh, using the Dress My Craft paper trimmer. And again, it slides so smoothly. So you can see that I have a very clean cut and this is the sheet that measures 12 inches by 12 inches. So now, um, as per the instructions for a dimensional envelope, I need to uh, score two lines. So the first one uh, is at four and a half inches. So you have to align your sheet like that. And then score uh, from that little uh, notch there and then again move your paper to six inches and score another line so you will have two lines and then you have to rotate and go rotate your sheet and go to the edges and um, side edges and corner and then do the same thing first score line at four and a half and then another one at six and a half and then we are going to tackle the other two sides so now you have to align your um, scored lines with that little triangle notch there and um, score again so you will have two lines on each side um, this will actually form the uh, dimension part of the angular so now that we have this i want to show you from the back side so it's more visible and you can see that there are little uh, triangles there that we need to cut out for it to fold um, nicely and neatly and we're going to cut all of these corners out from all four sides uh, now our basic uh, template for the dimensional envelope is ready we are going to uh, just go ahead and burnish all the scored lines using the bone folder this will make sure that the envelope folds uh, nicely uh, when we are going to uh, glue the three sides. So this is an important step and I recommend uh, burnishing all your score lines um, before you start adhering the piece together. So now that we have um, all of these really burnished and folding well and to um, bring the envelope together we need to cut this little these little slits in the corners and then now when we fold it it will fold beautifully together and you can see it's beginning to look like an envelope now and all we have to do is glue those sides and your dimensional envelope will be ready it is that easy using the scoring board um, and since you have all the measurements and the guide already at your disposal it makes your task even easier and there is no room for mistakes So I'm going to just adhere those two little side pieces and now we are going to adhere this bottom part and just like that in a few minutes our beautiful envelope is ready and you can see how gorgeous the paper looks too with the little foiling and everything and once we embellish it it will be really really pretty and the, I think this will be a great idea for a wedding gift as well so you can add little perfume bottles too in the little box uh, that we're going to make now so here is the measurement for the box the box that will fit inside this envelope 
will be of this size 7 3 by 4 by 5 3 by 4 by 1 inch so the paper that we need is, is supposed to be uh, 2 inches extra on each side so it will be 9 3 by 4 by 7 3 by 4 inches so we are going to use another sheet uh, from the same paper collection and we are going to cut the paper to size that is 3 uh, sorry 9 3 by 4 and 7 3 by 4 and of course I'm using the dress my craft paper trimmer it is really really smooth uh, very lightweight um, and the cut is uh, really it cuts like butter so uh, it's again one of the good tools that I really really like from dress my craft and so now that I have the paper cut to size I am going to score it at one inches from all the sides so all four sides at one inches and then again we are going to repeat the same burnishing um, step so you need to uh, just make sure that your score lines are uh, folding well and now we are going to again um, add a little slit on each of those four corners and just adhere uh, these little squares just like so so that you get the box shape that you're aiming for and I like using these little paper clips to hold um, the box together um, because I'm using a liquid glue if you're using a red tape this will adhere instantly but I was using a liquid glue so I decided to use some paper clips to make sure that um, everything stays in place until it dries So now that our box is ready and the envelope is ready, we are going to um, start adding finishing touches. So I want to decorate the box itself a little bit, make it neater, also make it sturdier. So I added a um, little piece on the inside bottom and then we are also going to add um, some extra pattern papers on the edges to make it even more neater and that will also cover all the white sides and also make it sturdier of course While our little box is drying, I'm going to fuzzy cut the motif sheet. This is the coordinating sheet uh, for the Love Blooms collection, and it has some really cute, uh, gorgeous elements. I really like the door, but it was too big to use um, for this particular project. Probably I'll use it in the next one. And then there are some florals, leaves, butterflies, clocks, some frames, a lot of nice stuff. All right, so all of our individual elements are ready. We have the envelope, um, we have the nice sturdy box inside, and then um, I have all the elements fuzzy cut. I also added magnets on the inside to keep it closed, and I think that's a really neat effect uh, that the magnet gives, the, close, the closure part. It really adds uh, more uh, finesse to the whole project. And then I have, uh, I have some die cuts. This is the doily die that I have and just want to sh go through it really fast. I have some uh, leaves and foliage, some uh, pollens, some thread pollens, some white pollens and all of these will be listed in the description box below so you can check it out. Then of course I have the fuzzy cut elements um, and now we are going to just start adding or decorating this little envelope here.
that's it that's how i created this beautiful envelope box i think it'll make for a great gift this wedding season or rather jazz of your gifts um when you gift them in the envelope and i hope you enjoyed the video um don't forget to like share and comment on the video and i will see you again next time have a great day and take care